My name is Dr. Kurt Hazelton, the Chair of the Civil Engineering Department. The purpose of this short video is to explain to you the general education requirements that you need to meet as a Civil Engineering major, and to also explain to you the option of getting a minor in general education. Some of the minors that are possible, you can actually do with only one additional class, and we've intentionally set up the Civil Engineering curriculum so that you can get a minor in sustainability with only one additional class. So I'd like to explain to you both how to meet your general education requirements and then also how to get a minor if you'd like to do so. So the first file that I'd like to show to you, actually the only file I'd like to show to you in this case, let me pull it up on my screen here, is a general education requirement file that we've modified and marked up, right, for specifically you as a civil engineering student. The important thing here is that as a civil engineering student, you don't have to take all of the general education requirements that all students need to take. So what we've done is we've grayed out the requirements that don't pertain to you as a civil engineering student. So as you go through this file, just quickly, if you look at the first page, it gives a list of some of the requirements that you need to meet when selecting your general education classes. It talks about the U.S. diversity, global cultures, and writing intensive courses. These here are redundant with the Excel file, which include the course requirements that we've discussed in the first video on this page, but they're just included here for completeness on this document. The right-hand side of the first page, if you look at the top right, those include some of the other general requirements for oral communication, written communication, and so on. These requirements are also already included in the course requirement Excel file that we talked about in the first video on this page. So again, some of this information is redundant. The bottom right of this first page discuss the requirements for a pathway minor. And I'll talk to you about a pathway minor in a minute. I'd first like to transition to the second page of this file. This page is called Breadth Pathways. It shows all of your requirements for general education. Each of the columns shows a different pathway. There are 10 general education pathways you may choose between. Each row shows the types of classes. You'll notice under Area C, which is Arts and Humanities, that off to the left, you should select only one course from Area C. As a civil engineering student, you only have to select one course between Area C1 and C2. Similarly, for Area D, select only one class from Area D1 or D2. You'll notice as you go down the sheet that Area E, Lifelong Learning, is gray. This requirement is filled by Civil 495, Professional Issues in Engineering. As you continue down, looking at the Upper Division Pathway courses, the Upper Division Area B is also gray. Because the Civil Engineering program adequately covers Upper Division Natural Sciences within the major, However, you do need to select one Upper Division C and one Upper Division D course. At the bottom of this page, we have a little row called Extra Classes. We will cover this row later. It mostly pertains to getting a minor. So if you look at this page and you want to meet just your general education requirements, you have to take one Area C, and it can come from any column, you also have to take one area D, it may also come from any column, and then when you get to upper division, you need to stay in a particular column. Within your selected column, you have to take an upper division C and an upper division D course. For example, if you want to take a sustainability pathway, you might take History 341 and Geography 304. And then at the lower division level, you may take classes from any of the columns. The other thing that you need to keep in mind as you select your classes is that you need to take one U.S. Diversity class, which is abbreviated USD on this file, one Global Cultures class, which is abbreviated GC, and you need to take two writing intensive classes, which is abbreviated WI. 
These two writing intensive classes are in addition to the freshman composition class you are required to take. Typically, this is English 130 or Journalism 130. In summary, to complete the GE requirements without a pathway minor, you need to take one U.S. diversity course, one global cultures course, three writing intensive courses. These three writing intensive courses include the English 130 or Journalism 130 class and two other writing intensive courses of your choosing. The capstone course requirement is filled by Civil 595. And finally, you also need to take two upper division pathway courses from the same pathway column. Let's look at an example of how you can fulfill the GE requirements. In lower division courses, you are free to select classes from any of the columns. So let's take English 264, which covers a U.S. diversity class and one of the writing intensive courses that you need. The other class could be Anthropology 113, which covers global cultures. In upper division, you need to select just one column for classes, so let's take Science, Technology, and Values in this example. If you select English 350, you take care of the other writing intensive course that you need. This leaves you free to select anything from the upper division area D, so let's take Psychology 321. Now you have one Upper Division C class, one Upper Division D class, a class from area C1 or C2 in Lower Division, and a class from D1 or D2 in Lower Division, as well as covering the U.S. Diversity class, both Writing Intensive classes, and the Global Cultures class. If you are considering a Pathway Minor, you need to take 18 units within your chosen pathway, nine of which must be upper division within the same pathway. Let's take a Global Diversity Studies minor as an example. First notice that you need to take Geography 101 or Geoscience 130 as the associated foundation course. This is one of the additional lower division courses for a minor in this pathway. Now turn the page. This minor has a lot of options to fulfill the U.S. Diversity, Global Cultures, and Writing Intensive requirements. In Lower Division Area C, you need to select a class that takes care of the U.S. Diversity, Global Cultures, or Writing Intensive requirements. For example, you could take English 258, which will cover one of the Writing Intensive courses. In Area D, you could take Anthropology 261, which will cover the U.S. Diversity requirement. Moving on to Upper Division, you can take History 382 from Area C, which covers the Global Cultures requirement. And you still need to fulfill one more writing intensive requirement, so let's take Anthropology 377 from Area D. At this point, you have selected four classes. These fulfill the GE requirements. However, you need three more units to total 18 units to achieve a minor. The extra class row informs us that the extra classes are taken from upper division area B, any lower division, and one from the foundational courses. From upper division area B, you could take Nutrition and Food Science 310. The upper division B course and the foundational course from the previous page complete the global development minor. Now, as promised, let's look at an example of how you can earn a minor in sustainability with just one extra class. The list of associated foundation courses on page 1 indicates that Civil 175 may be counted towards a minor in sustainability. You will take Civil 175 as part of the Civil Engineering major. This means that you only have to select 15 more units to complete the GE requirements and sustainability minor. The writing intensive courses are limited in this pathway, so it's important to select your classes carefully. In lower division, you need to select one area C and one area D course from the sustainability pathway. In this example, let's take English 252 from area C to take care of the U.S. diversity requirements. And from area D, let's take Geography 102, which covers the global cultures requirement. 
In the upper division, you must take English 338 from Area C to fulfill a writing intensive requirement. And from Area D, you can select any class, so let's take Geography 304 for this example. Finally, let's look at the extra class row, which indicates that your extra class to complete the minor must come from upper division Area B. From Area B, you must select Geoscience 330 to complete the GE requirements with a writing intensive course. These five classes and Civil 175 fulfill the requirements for the sustainability minor and general education. Again, it's important to note that you must take Geoscience 330 and English 338 to fulfill both the minor and GE requirements without taking more than one extra class. These general education requirements are actually a lot to digest, especially for a starting student. So if you have any questions, please come by my office, Langdon 207, right, or see your academic advisor, which is a faculty member assigned to you. If you're not sure who your academic advisor is, come by again, uh, see Yvonne Leiden in the Civil Engineering Department, and she'll assign you a, a faculty advisor. The one last thing that I want to note is these general education requirements were modified effective fall 2012. So if you were a student that started in college, either here at Chico State or at a community college before fall 2012, your requirements are a little bit different. So if that's the case for you, I would especially encourage you to come and see me, right, or come see your faculty academic advisor. I hope this video was useful for you. We're here to help. If you have any questions, please come by.